Hello students, a very warm day everyone. This is your Valley, addressing from SLVM School Jagabat Nagar, dealing with the subject English of class 7. Children, I hope everyone are fine and very happy with the newcomers every week adding a new students to our virtual learning classes. And I hope everyone are fine there and stay safe, stay healthy and be at your home and try to learn new things okay children and in the lesson e is what we are going to discuss is lesson 3 and the a part puru the brave puru the brave okay children in this video we are going to know about the puru the brave the story and you already known that in the previous video we discussed about the characterizations of Alexander, Puru and Cyrus. So children, listen here properly the textual lesson of the story Puru the Brave. So you already know that the main characters of this story are two. Those are Alexander and Puru. Puru is a king, Indian king of the kingdom Panchala, our Punjab, and Alexander is a king of Persia. Alexander is the king of Macedonia. Alexander is the king of Macedonia who defeated the Persian king Cyrus the Great. Okay, children. So and now I am going with the deep of the story that the, here the story is about the war, the battle which was taken between place between Alexander and Puru. On that word, this is a conversation. This is a topic they are discussing about the word. Okay, children, let's go deep into the lesson. Look here properly. Yeah, children, look here. Ready? Yeah. Read the following playlist and answer the questions that follow. What is the meaning of playlist? The play, the drama. The drama, read the drama and answer the questions. And then the name of the story is Puru, the brave. And look at the picture. He is Alexander, the king of Macedonia. Okay, children, look at the characters. Alexander, the king of Macedonia, who conquered Greece, Persia, etc. Alexander is the king of Macedonia. He defeated, he won against Greece, Persia. Okay, children, and also next, Puru, a king of northern India. A king of Northern India. The two characters are Alexander and Puru. Okay, children. Next, in this story, we have some more people that who are those four great generals and six soldiers. What is meant by generals? The army chief, the planning committee, like ministers in our assembly, we have right like that. There are four Greek generals and six soldiers. Okay, children. The camp of Alexander on the banks of the Julem. On the time of war, they, where did the war take place? At the place of the river Julem. At the place of river Julem. On that day, the camp of Alexander the sheds the the place where the place where they arranged some tarpaulin covers to live they were to stay that place we called it as camp on the camp of alexander on the banks of the river julem on the bank in the sense a side a place of the river julem Alexander is sitting on a high chair. Alexander is sitting on a high chair. And his four generals are sitting on low chairs. 
there is a chair there is a place on that alexander is sitting in next the four generals are sitting down like this like uh, like raj the bar okay children two greek soldiers are standing at the door two greek soldiers are standing at the door alexander is having a talk with the generals two soldiers are staying at the door and didn't allowing any unknown person to that camp to that shed so that alexander is talking to his generals alexander is talking to his generals that means alexander is talking to his ministers next alexander is talking look at the picture look at the textbook the story is like conversation development that means the dialogues of three or more persons okay that's what we call it as conversation development you already known about that okay children next alexander the battle of zulum will go down in the history of our country alexander is saying the words the battle the war of zulum the war now going on what's the war what we are doing now will go down in the history of our country it becomes a historical moment to our country just like that alexander said next the first general is saying how many generals are there yes four generals are there so the first general is saying that it will go down in the history of india too not only uh, why because alexander is from greek okay the greek people are doing war with india so it's a he clear cut hint that india versus greek okay children so the war between india and greek okay so alexander is saying that it go down in the history of greek but first general also saying that it will go down in the history of india too not only for the greek india also have the history about this war they are talking like that then second general is saying i will go down in the history of the it will go down in the history of the world not only the this is not only the war between two countries this is the war this is a world it will become the world famous war so that it becomes the it becomes and it's also in the history of the world not only the history of greek not only the history of india it becomes the history of the world just like that the alexander and the first two generals given statements then third general is speaking i have never fought such a battle before i have never fought i have never fight never do a fighting like this war before in previous third generally saying that in previously in the before days i did in say great war like this third generally saying like this next the fourth general i have not either until the last moment i could not believe that we would be able to defeat the army of puru but the fourth general is talking somewhat negative what did what did he talking about he talking about that i have not either i don't think that it will become a history of the world why because until the last moment at the last moment of the world i could not believe that i could not trust i could not give a statement that we would be able to defeat the army of puru i'm not happy i'm not give a particular statement statement i don't trust that we will win until the last moment why because the army of puru was really great puru is a great soldier and a great intelligent so that i don't trust that we greek people will win the battle we have to wait the last moment just like this the fourth general addressing about the battle 
okay children next next alexander is saying yes it has been a great battle of course it is a great battle it is a great war perhaps the greatest of my life i must say every indian soldier fought like a tiger of course alexander was a greek king as a greek king also he wishing he known he appreciating the talent of our indian soldiers like the indians are good soldiers our indians are good soldiers sorry yes it has been a great battle of course it has been a great battle perhaps the greatest of my life not only for the great not only this is the great battle this is the great battle great war of my life i must say i will say every indian soldier fought like a tiger every indian soldier will fight like a tiger on the world i know that just like that alexander is saying that then first general they fought like devils your majesty then the first general is saying they fight like devils they fight like devils they fight like devils your majesty your majesty is the word like o oh, king just the your majesty is the phrase which gives the respect to the king okay children next alexander is saying the indians are good soldiers indians are very good soldiers they know how to fight they know how to fight they fight better than our men they fight better than our greece people just like that alexander praising our indian soldiers okay children next second general but their generals are not so good as ours of course but their generals their ministers are not good like us who is saying this the second general is saying that then alexander replied if you mean they are not so brave as the greek generals i don't agree with you second general is saying our generals are very good but indian generals are not good so that word alexander replied that you think greek generals are brave greek generals are so brave i don't agree with you not only greek generals they are too brave i don't agree with your statement just like that alexander replied to the second general next second general saying but they are not very skillful your highness your majesty your highness these are the words which are used to give respect to the king okay children next they are not very skillful they are not very talented they are not skillful just like that the second general skill say skillful in the sense they don't know some techniques on war they don't know how to rule the kingdom they don't know how to give the proper suggestions to the king just like that the second general thought and explained his view to the alexander next alexander is saying i see what you mean and here i agree with you the indian generals are still following the old methods of warfare i see what you mean i know what you mean and here i know on some conditions i agree with you the indian generals are still following the old methods of war during the war warfare still the indian generals indian ministers are following old methods their battle plans are faulty their war plans are faulty not good and they depend too much upon their elephants they always depend on elephants but as fighters but while doing fighters they are wonderful i have the highest respect for them just like this the alexander replied to the second general next third general is saying i was amazed to see how puru fought in the battle of jilum the third general is saying i was surprised to see how puru fight in the battle of jilum i am surprising while looking puru's 
battle furus fighting fight just like this the third general saying about puru then the fourth general is saying he continued to fight even when others had left the field puru is a great man when others went out from the field went out from the war field still puru is continuing to fight i think he killed at least a hundred of our men with his sword i think puru killed our hundred more than hundred people of our soldiers with his sword just like this the fourth general addressing about puru then second general is saying and injured many more not only killing he injured he wounded our soldiers just like the second general is saying then the again the first general is saying that he was badly injured himself of course he lost his energy while fighting and also some injuries happened to puru also he was badly injured then second general is saying that's why we were able to capture him so that second general is saying that's why he is badly injured himself he killed our man he injured our man so that he is a brave man that's why we are talking about puru that's why we are talking about puru how brave he was just like this the second general addressing there next alexander oh he is a brave man and a great soldier i wish he were one of my generals then alexander saying saying that oh he is a brave man and a great soldier i wish he were one of my generals i think i likely to be he is one of my friend he is one of my neighbor king and he is one of my minister just like that alexander is hoping then second general replied he is a proud man your majesty he is a very proud man then alexander said a soldier is not a soldier if he is not proud alexander giving a statement that a soldier is not a soldier if he is not proud i am not angry with him at all i am not angry with puru he was not frightened by the news of my victories and refused to bow before me he was not frightened he was not feared about me he was not feared about my victories my wins my winning my ruling of course i am a great king i am the alexander the great while knowing about myself also puru doesn't scared about me and and he fighted on his own way and still he is fighting so that and also he doesn't refuse he doesn't ask for my help so that i am very happy with puru i like him very much just like that the alexander addressing there okay next the first general is saying he will be brought to your majesty soon let us see how he behaves he will brought to your majesty soon then first general is saying of course we won the battle but our soldiers are taking puru to the puru to you puru to before you let us see how he behaves let's see how he behaves just like this the first general saying then alexander saying i am sure he will not behave like a coward 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 in the sense the people who have to obey other words others words always those people we call them as coward okay then alexander saying let's see i think he doesn't behave like a coward he is always proud he is always brave if our soldiers are bringing puru to us he doesn't ask our help he is a very brave man just like that alexander say okay children in the next video we will discuss more about the story thank you for watching my video thank you